but it's a shame when we watch leader after leader deplete the wealth of their people. It's shameful, it's deplorable, and it's immoral. Do you know what to, immoral means? You have pushed corruption to the levels of immorality as never seen in this country. The chairperson of the Commission of Inquiry into Land Matters, Justice Catherine Bamgamerire, intensely questioned Ginger Central Division SC Chairman Mubaraka Kirunda for his role in the sale of government land in Ginger Town. When this building was demolished, who was the chairman of the district council? Uh, LC5? Yes. Gome Ngobe. Why are you not mentioning him? I talked of leaders. Ah, ah, ah. But you no. mentioned Kezala. Why did you not mention Gume? Isn't it deliberate? It is deliberate. You have not told us everything. You, and why have you not mentioned the RDC? Why? I was are you not on their payroll? Isn't it true that they paid you to keep quiet? No. I Isn't it true that they actually paid for your lawyer to come to this commission? Kirunda had been summoned to defend himself against allegations that he had sided with a businessman Simpson Birunji to demolish a government building, displace traders, and hand over the land to a businessman. Birunji has since set up a commercial building on the land located on Aldina Vislam Road in Ginger Town. Allegation is allegation, my lord. Is it true that you have been paid to, to whitewash corruption in Ginger against your own people? Aren't you ashamed? Kirunda's uncle, Haji Kirunda, was among the traders evicted. The elderly man who attended the commission was reportedly betrayed by his nephew. While addressing the commission, Mubaraka Kirunda seemed uneasy mentioning his uncle's full names to the surprise of the commissioners and the audience. Who is your muse? I have my uncle, my dad, is even here. What is his name? Haji. Dakaba. I know the name. Give us the name. My Lord is my father. Just if you don't know people, just say I don't know. Okay, the name has gone out of my head. Good. <laughs> yeah. And your uncles there were the first businessmen in Ginger and they got plot 60 and 62 and were able to trade. Are you proud that you people in Ginger have given away every business land, every government building, every green space, every little bit of, you know, what was for the people, for yourselves? I can give you a long list of district officials of Ginger with 15, 25, 30 titles. Aria, Yusuka Kero, who at the time in the land sale in 2011, was a ginger district lands officer, accused the then ginger district chairman Frederick Ngobi Gume, who is now the state minister for cooperatives, of aiding and abating the illegal land transaction. It's Honorable Frederick Gume Ngobi. Frederick Gume Ngobi. Yes. And he was the district chairperson. He was the district chairperson. Yes, they came to me with the file from ginger district land board, and they wanted me to process the lease offer. He claimed that Ngobi put him under immense pressure to lease another piece of government land to favorite enterprises, a company owned by Asians. I moved out of office and the pressure kept mounting until I saw I could not bear the pressure. I had to issue the lease offer that even the money was shared and it was deposited on that person's account. He also claimed that ginger district leaders have given away land along the shores of River Nile to foreigners contrary to the laws of Uganda. So the land on the on the River Nile has been acquired this way by foreigners. Yeah my lord there are foreigners who have been acquiring land along along the River Nile and the, 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 land, the land board has been giving them leases, and even in, in rural areas. Jingo Francis, NTV.